Today we've got a short tutorial on how to create professional looking animated lower thirds. Let's do it. Well, hey, what's up? My name is Tony. I'm a filmmaker photographer in the St. Louis area. And today we're just doing a short, quick tutorial on how I do my lower thirds. You may notice them through all of my videos, but today we're gonna spend a few minutes and I'm gonna show you how I create those by using a template. Now you can buy templates, you can create these on your own. The simplest way is for you to just pick up one of these free template packs that so many different companies have and just go through them in After Effects by yourself. Now in order to follow along, you're I'm gonna give this like a two out of five rating on the difficulty scale. One, you're gonna have to have After Effects and two, a basic understanding of how to get around in it. So why don't we get into the computer, I'll show you where to get these templates and how to manipulate them so that they fit your style. Let's do it. Okay, so we're in the computer. First thing you wanna do is go to your uh, web browser, open up that, and we wanna search for rocketstock.com. Once you're here, you'll notice at the top here, there's a section called freebies. Once you click on it, there's a whole bunch of free assets that you can use. If you haven't signed up, you can sign up for the, the free monthly thing, but uh, you can look through all of these assets. There's a lot of cool things in here. This is just a, a cool company that I kind of check in with every now and then see what they're doing. Uh, eventually, you'll get to this free lower thirds uh, pack for After Effects. Download it, and once you have it, then it'll show up in your downloads. Okay, once it's downloaded, go ahead and unzip the pack. Once it's unzipped, you'll notice inside this package that it also includes some light leaks, which are really cool. Maybe we'll do a tutorial someday on that. But go ahead and open up the After Effects project. And once it's open, you'll have to fight through all of the warnings. Uh, I use my own font. I have a font that I use for all of my videos, all of my lower thirds. It's all the same, so I don't really care if I've got their font. If not, you can hunt down their font. All right, so now that you're in here, you'll notice each one of these is a lower third, and you can scrub through here depending on how fast your computer is and see all of them at once. All you have to do is basically just select the one that you like. Let's go ahead and do this one. I've used this one before, it looks really good. And you double tap on that composition, and way we're in here. So now we can change all of the assets within this lower third very easily. Just go ahead and go into this composition and we can see the big text here. We can change this to say tutorial and we can change the lower text to say Tony Mellinger. So now we've got a, a working uh, template here. Say we don't wanna use this yellow, we wanna use a different color. You can go into the control layer and you can adjust some settings in there as well. So just click on this little arrow, go to the effects, and it will show you the big line size. Each one of these effects are gonna be different depending on which um, lower third you're using. So we do not want yellow, we want more of, let's say, a brown. Let's go, a bit more brown, or tonesy. Um, you know, and then say we want the line color a little bit different. Um, you can just kind of play around with all of these things. Uh, we just want white, we don't want any color. So um, each one of these has their own settings. Let's see, we can change the point here. Let's see, we want this, uh, you know, maybe a little bit shorter. You can make it however you want, and they make it very simple. So now we've got this done. We can even move this over if we want. That looks pretty good like that. I don't really like this color. Let's change the color again. Make it a little bit brighter. Okay, that looks better. Okay. So now we have it done, we need to go back into our composition that has the turnaround. And what I mean by that is if you scrub through here, it shows you it comes in and then it goes out. So if you wanna see it play through, all you have to do is hit spacebar and it will play through your tutorial. So you can see it comes in and then it goes out. All right, that looks really good. Now, when you have it all set the way that you want, all you have to do is go to your composition, add to render queue. Now, once you're in here, you need to change a few different things. The first thing is you need to change this RGB to RGB and alpha, which means that it's gonna have a transparent background. Otherwise, you're gonna have that black background. Then the other thing that you wanna do is change it from animation to ProRes 444. And what that does is it makes it, uh, you can preview it, it's just a little bit easier file to work with. Once you're done with that, go ahead and save it where you want to. We're just gonna save it on the desktop for now. 
um, for simplicity. Uh, what I do is I always put LT in front of all of my lower thirds, LT underscore tutorial, and then whatever it is. Save it and render it out. Okay, so now that it's rendered, let's go back into Premiere Pro and I will show you how to get this into your project. So what I'll do is I'll just drag it into the project and uh, we'll put it right into this project that we're making for this video. You just drag it right onto your next level. So now you'll see here, as we, uh, I'll just turn off this stuff, as we scrub through this, you can see the lower third does what it needs to. But this is obviously too big, so you just shrink it down, let's say 50%, see what that looks like, move it to where we want. Typically what I'll do is if I have a lower third coming to the right, I will have it right justified. If it was all left justified, then I would swing it over onto the left but it doesn't really matter. So now what you can see here is that we've got a lower third that works. So say you want that lower third to stay on longer. Uh, what you can do is get to the point where it comes all the way in, go ahead and cut your clip, move this over, and then go back a few frames, right click and hit add frame hold. What this does is it cuts the frame, but locks it. So it essentially makes it an image. Now you can drag this out as long as you want, and it makes your lower third that much longer. All right, friends. Well, hopefully this video has been beneficial. I want to help you ramp up the quality of your videos. And one simple way to do that is to dial in those motion graphics, add in really nice, informative lower thirds, have a really nice title, and just making them animated like this is just a nice way to, uh, to just keep pushing up the level of your production. If this video has helped you, I would love for you to like it, comment below if you've got questions, or maybe you've got some simple shortcuts that we didn't talk about today. And uh, you know, if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. We do tons of stuff with the EOS R and uh, editing and all sorts of things. Got a couple really cool videos planned for the next few weeks. Uh, right now we're in the middle of the coronavirus and so I'm stuck at home just kind of pumping out videos. So glad you're here. We'll see you soon.